You're watching News 54. The 2022 elections race is heating up with only nine months left till the final day which will be on 9th August. Many Kenyans are comparing it as a two-horse race between ODM party leader Rayla Odinga and the deputy president William Ruto due their popularity in various parts of the country. Wiper party leader Kalonza Muzioka, ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi and Kanu party leader Gideon Moy are the other powerful leaders who have declared their presidential bid and they have formed a car coalition which will need only one flag bearer. Despite that the three leaders have each decided that they are going through to the ballot and none of them want to be left out. Kenyans have been asking Kalonzo to join hands with either Eurodm party leader Rayla Odinga or UDA party leader William Ruto. Kalonzo has refused any of that and today speaking at a rally in Kitui County he decided to set the record clear on him working with Ruto. He revealed that he can never work with William accusing him of having a lot of hatred and spreading the fake bottom-up economic model. Hakuna mtu atakuja na beba eh, macheti ama bakora akwambie lazima hiki by hook or crook. Ni mambo ya kujadiliana na mafikra. Tuwe na competition of ideas because this document is a reform document. Let us not be the only country in the world which is anti reform. A good idea always gives, gives <laughs> room for a better idea. But there are people who oppose things for the sake of it. I have no doubt myself that should the Court of Appeal give us the opportunity to go back to explain to the country the whole meaning and effect of the building bridges. In fact, I don't want to call it the building bridges initiative. It's a constitutional amendment bill right now. And I keep on saying this thing is beyond Uhuru Kenyatta, it's beyond Raila Odinga. It is for the Kenyans themselves. The times change, perceptions change. And if people perceive that constitutional amendment bill is about an individual and they don't like that individual, then they take a position but let us look at the bigger good i call this a reform document and i can't, i don't think my own country is going to be the only country which is an anti-reform you have been told na wengine kwamba nataka what they are calling bottom up economics kutoka chini kwenda juu hawataki kitu itoke President Kwendachini Kwa MCA. And that is good. But look at it. What do they have apart from giving goodies in a wheelbarrow? Is that bottom up economics? The bottom up economics and the constitutional the constitutional amendment bill gives the world of Mumbuni no ability to do things from the grassroots. Unajua tunatarajia hivi karibuni mheshimiwa rais atatutembelea katika eneo hili naomba tumkaribishe kwa furaha furateni furateni na mjue yeye ni mdhunua ama sivyo aje marishe Konza City now we have a chance kutoa maji kutoka Thwake Dam Thwake Dam the biggest dam in the country going on the current at 39 billion shillings maji hayo tuyatoe thwake dam tulete konza na ingine hata hiyo notoresh haitosh hii natoka na notoresh tuanzisha na mzee moyo wakati ule lakini inatobolewa tobolewa na everybody i think now we are going we have a chance to bring the silicon valley silicon savanna Silicon or Savannah, Silicon, whichever, in cons. We're proposing Makweni, even a public university as well. We are going to open the biggest road, a road that links Ethiopia to the port of Mombasa. The president is coming. Tutamkaribisha? Hey, mutanisaidia kumkaribisha? Yeah, that is it. Tujadiliane father, 
ikiwa mtaenda kuendelea na hii mtindo wa ku, kusifu wezi watu ambao ni wazi nimeona leo orodha kubwa sana ya watu ambao wamekabiliwa na mashtaka fulani fulani na badala ya ku face the full force of the law and face have their own rights under the law right to self protection or defense or whatever under the law wanaanza kusema ni political at intimidation na watu wameiba na niwezi so this is beautiful nation do it again weka majina ya wezi Kenya hii so wajulikane wajulikane si mimi nilikuwa vice president father i want to give you a challenge msikubali kila kitu hata hivyo ikiletwa because yote ni mali ya Mungu muombe sana so that the church becomes a blessed thing you see we nachukua pesa za wizi you can bring condemnation i'm now talking to you as a believer because i'm a believer and i know when to think ah hii kitu hapana hii kitu hapana 